Hi there! Welcome to your weekly oracle card reading. This week I'm going to use Divine Guidance by Cheryl E. Harnish, as well as Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. We'll start with Divine Guidance today. So the first card, ooh, is the Loved Ones card. And this card really emanates a feeling of love and peace. So tuning into ourselves and finding our own sense of love and peace. And also knowing that there are others who love us as well, even if they are on the other side. and that we can always access that feeling of love even if we're not around anybody in a physical sense there's always love all around us so tuning into that love is really good and will help you to attract more love into your life okay and this one of course <laughs> this is the uh, mother earth card I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it definitely has that Earth energy and the love of Mother Earth um, that emanates. So tuning into Mother Earth is amazing and um, being grateful for everything Mother Earth provides and noticing all the beauty of Mother Earth and really just grounding yourself and doing things that you know, you know need to be done can help you to just feel better in general and so working on you know practical matters can also be you know an interpretation of this card okay and then woo the shining star card so when you are shining your light then it attracts more light to you and it, it attracts more um, love really and just expressing who you are expressing yourself expressing your feelings expressing your thoughts expressing you and letting that you shine through in whatever you do yeah and this really inspires others to be them too so yeah. All right, let's do the Earth Magic Oracle cards now. Okay, so Winter Solstice Reflection. So This is about inner reflection and paying attention to the stillness within and really tuning into yourself and um, you know meditating and having a bit of a more downtime and also reflecting on different lessons you may have learned and really where you are today uh, as opposed to where you were yesterday and noticing just how far you've actually come and whether it's you know just emotionally or mentally or even physically you know just how far you may have come there's always at least one area of life where you may have improved and sometimes when we're reflecting it helps us to heal certain old wounds especially when there are things that happen in real life or you know in the present time that can trigger those old memories so healing and releasing those old memories is kind of a part of that too okay rain purification so some you know the rain really brings cleansing and healing and you know purification <laughs> and it also 
crying can do the same thing, you know? It's all about cleansing your body of toxins, cleansing your soul of old hurts, cleansing yourself, purifying yourself, and being healthy too, making sure to not put more toxins into your body. And yeah, just doing cleansing um, rituals, maybe like, you know, with sage or taking a bath or even just taking a shower, or if you can, you know, go out in the rain and that'll help cleanse your soul, cleanse yourself. And yeah, it's just a very uh, soul cleansing type of card here. All right, let's see what this card is. Oh, autumnal e equinox with release. So we got winter solstice and autumnal equinox here. So this is about letting things go and also letting go, you know, just going with the flow, letting go, letting things go. Um, and really noticing, you know, you know, what makes you feel heavy and like get rid of that. Get rid of whatever makes you feel heavy. Whether it's, you know, your thoughts or emotions or even things around your house. So, letting go of things, letting go of emotions. Just releasing. Okay, wow, so very cleansing cards today, huh? <laughs> Alright, have a great week, you guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting. And I'll talk to you next week.